Hello, welcome again to our for our um, pro ops training tutorial uh, where we can now um, we will now create a um, data table filtering data, edit, delete, add, etc. So in our previous training, we build a main page where all the buttons here. And then we build a second screen with an add item. Now we will build a data table. So what is the data table? Data table uh, di uh, display the all data in our SharePoint list. And we can we can just uh, filter, select, edit on it on the data table. So let's start. No intro, intro. First, we uh, add another screen. So, this will be data table. Data table. Okay. Then, I will name these two data table. Then, I will change the font size to 35 and bold okay and then i will copy again the our background image and then reorder to send back send to back okay and then i will insert um, data table of course data table then i will just adjust adjust the data table and then select the data source from our SharePoint list data source and then I will change the color to white okay so you see the data coming from our data source it it is displaying here so when I play that it is selected okay so um, if you want to add a column for example I will add um, I will create a column for um, um, comments comments single line of text okay okay comments then you, you just need to refresh your data source refresh then after refresh um, go to select the data table make sure that it's selected then in your data source click edit fields and then add the add field and okay then type comment search the comments okay and then add okay it's now added so if i i play this add item ah oh, sorry it's, it's not it's not update the add item is not updated so go to add item click form and then edit fields also and then add field comments comments add that okay so go back again let's try add item um, training one 14 completed then testing only then submit let's let's uh, try if it's now getting the comments testing only okay it's working and then uh, we go to data table screen and it's now live okay so that's the uh, data table how to how 
um, how to create a data table, and then um, we will create a filtering filtering um, the data table. So we we insert a drop down drop down box. Uh, we will now insert drop down box for status. Then I create label status. I change this fill color to um, blue. Sorry, real status. Okay. And then I will uh, insert a text input so you can just search. Okay. Um, for hint text, I will just search people. And then I will create a icon. Okay. okay. Then I will insert a button for submit uh, for edit. Okay, for edit. Then I will copy it for delete. Delete. Okay. So now we we need to um, put a code here on a uh, drop down. So first we will now select the data table screen. And then we will go to on visible. Okay, and then I'll just copy this. Okay, I explain this code. So um, I will uh, choices. Choi ah, oh no no no! I will think a variable var choice bar choice and then bar choice D. okay and then uh, our power ups training tracker and then status status that value okay so what is clear collect so clear collect clearing the variable and then I'm um, collecting the uh, we we'll, we just add a all um, item on the uh, choices on this uh, we will need we will just um displaying the choices in status like completed exempted okay so we just need to because the status has only completed and accepted there's no all um choice uh, we just select we just add a uh, result for all so, and then uh, we just add the uh, existing choices. So, this is our uh, data source link and then the status column and then the value. So, um, that is on, on visible property of the our screen. And then the variable is bar choice. We will just copy that and then 
paste it here we will select the drop down and then the on items just paste the bar choice okay so let's go to uh, another screen and then go to uh, all screen oh okay you you see the, the status here now is all completed and exempted because it gets the choices on our status column on data source and then add a all additional all okay so let's now move to data table where we can add a formula to connect the filtering and the text box okay so just need to copy this and then on the data table make sure it's selected and on items property paste the code so power apps we'll just need to select our data source first and then starts with um status status dot sorry Okay, so um, um, I just, uh, sorry, so I just modified the codes here, so uh, filter, okay, so power ups training tracker, and then starts with, so we need this starts with to bypass the delegation of, um, um, power ups. So we just um, I, I just add this starts with so um, status status column is a choice column so I just add I just add a text function and then if if that if your reference column is not a choice or number or etc if just a text you just delete the text function and then delete that but that value so for example if it's comment just type comment just type comments okay But if is a choice column value, just add a function text, then status, that value. Sorry. That value. Okay, and then um, substitute. Sorry, uh, I just need to. Okay, so um, starts with value status, and then um, substitute drop down, which is drop down one. This is the drop down one. Um, I'll just need to um, replace the all to blank for the data table to show all the datas. So that's the trick. Um, on the displaying all items so uh, I just replacing the all to uh, none and then starts with I just um, adding okay so uh, created by display name text input that text so you uh, text input one is this okay so let's try um, all items completed oh sorry I forgot I 
I just need to replace these two texts. Why it why it become value? Okay, so um just adding a created by column for us to created by okay so created by is in the last row so i just need to um, edit that and move to move to top just drag it drag it and then that's it okay so let's try um just filtering oh sorry um if i type here de la forteza it will show all the items because it's just me entering all the data so uh, in next video i will change the reference to other so okay let's try completed only completed will be shown and then exempted all exempted and then i will click all it is now um all okay so um that's it for today so uh, then on the next um tutorial i will discuss the how to edit delete and other stuff so thank you for watching see you on next um, video bye bye